Dirty Dozen Eclipse Predictions for the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse. Here are my predictions. I'm recording this video just two days prior to the actual eclipse. And the idea behind the Dirty Dozen is starting with the Nautical Almanac and using high school geometry. Uh, can you predict uh, details about the eclipse? So this is just a quickie video. I, I'm not doing any explanation here. I'm literally just giving you my values that were the result of my geometric analysis. Um, in future videos, I plan to show exactly how I got these, these values. But right now, I'm just going to show you the values here with no, with no explanation. Now, again, the challenge was uh, there's going to be some location on planet Earth that will experience the peak of totality at 180 degrees south azimuth. In other words, where the eclipse will cross that observer's meridian will be peak totality. Now, at location X, um, you can figure out uh, a bunch of different uh, numerical values. So the starting point is the nautical almanac uh, shown here. And you only have the tools of high school geometry. So no, no spherical geometry, no spherical trig, no ephemeris tables, uh, just, just the nautical almanac and, and high school geometry. And you are allowed to use the uh, quote unquote official values of the uh, sun, moon, and earth, you know, size and distance. Um, but if you are a flat earther, uh, I gave you complete freedom to make up whatever numbers you feel will make the, the prediction work for you. Um, so, you know, and, uh, you could just go, go crazy, w whatever values you wanted to use to make the, uh, eclipse work on a flat earth. Uh, you were allowed to reverse engineer the living daylights out of it if you wanted to as a flat earther, but the globe earthers, I, I was using the, the actual values, um, the quote unquote official values. So let's do a quick, uh, spreadsheet tour. Just, I'm, again, I'm not going to explain it. I, I just want to show you my, my values. Okay. So I start with my spreadsheet with uh, just a, a screenshot of the Nautical Almanac. And then what I did is I just painstakingly copied the numbers over into the spreadsheet uh, cells so that I could start doing a mathematical analysis on those cells. And that pink line uh, represents where the umbra will cross the observer's meridian. So that was my starting point. Uh, so I got the, the time, my, my calculated time of 18 hours, 36 minutes, for uh, universal time. Then on a, another page of the spreadsheet, um, I'm using some of the values, you know, distance to the sun and the moon and the size, et cetera, et cetera, uh, as well as this time to figure out the latitude longitude of this, uh, this, this location, location X, and angle of elevation. And again, there's the universal time. And what else did I do? I, um, I guess I then worked on the trajectory angle for the, the surface um, as the umbra is traveling across the surface, along with the surface speed in kilometers per hour. And I measured the umbra diameter east-west and north-south. And what's the path width? You know, sort of like the swath of countryside that's, that's touched by the umbra. And the, dur the duration of totality. So at location X, um, 4.41 4 minutes. And the sun, the moon sun size ratio. And again, the moon is slightly larger than the sun so that we have uh, totality. And what else here? Oh, the penumbra, the size of the penumbra. This was <laughs> some of the hardest calculations. East west size of the penumbra and the north south size of the penumbra. That was really, really hard to get to. <laughs> um, so those were my um, 13 was 13 uh, predictions because it was two it was two predictions for the penumbra so that was a quick tour of the spreadsheet and here I'm just summarizing everything on one screen uh, again these little colored bands these are just uh, screenshots from my my spreadsheet and again in future videos I will explain exactly where where these numbers came from uh, just using a geometric analysis starting with the nautical almanac so it turns out that location X is just north of San Antonio, Texas. Um, so if you are north of San Antonio, uh, you will see peak totality at 180 degrees south azimuth. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, hopefully everybody will have great eclipse viewing uh, in the United States tomorrow. Uh, I will be going up to upstate New York to uh, try my luck up there.
We're going to road trip up there with my family tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye-bye.